Alrighty folks, and welcome back to your home port. Newly accessible through the tech tree are the Italian cruisers, some of the sexiest ships in the game with offerings from tier 1 to tier 10. I've been waiting for these ships for some time, specifically the Zara at tier 7, it's always been a ship of historical interest to me. This new Italian line brings with it a new type of ammunition, SAP rounds, which are a special type of AP and available to all ships of the line except tier 1. Put it simply, in Wiles B, SAP ammunition has less penetration but will cause more damage when they do pen. I've also penetrated ship citadels with the SAP ammo, so it's good to go as an all-around ammo really. As a line, these Italian cruisers are an incremental increase in capabilities as you progress through the tiers, with no single ship being a huge standout from their predecessors. The further you progress, the less suited they become to close quarter action, and it should be avoided if possible. As I mentioned, SAP ammo isn't available to the Tier 1 Eritrea which I'm sure I'm mispronouncing. The Tier 1 offering isn't remarkable when compared to the other nation's ships, but it does have fast-firing guns, which stand in good stead. The HE shells are also effective. Mino Bixio. A Tier 2 is really no less unremarkable, but we do have SAP ammo available here, and eight 120mm guns mounted in single turrets. Top speed is good at just over 28 knots, but acceleration and turn times are a little lackluster, and we don't have any torpedoes available. Overall though, the ship is competitive and you can be effective in battle. At Tier 3 we have Taranto, which was originally built for the German Navy, but was transferred to Italy after World War One. With eight 150mm guns mounted in single turrets, Taranto can really take a bite out of enemy ships, but this is balanced by stretching the reload out to well over 8 seconds. Speed is up slightly from tier 2, but the acceleration is not much better than OK at well over 13 seconds as full speed. Turning rates aren't great, but in line with other cruisers at this tier. What we do finally see are torpedo launchers, four altogether and two dual launchers. Torpedo range is not fantastic at just over 5 kilometers, but they do travel at just over 61 knots and can do up to 2,000 damage per torp. As you can see, the ships are improving as we move the line, and Taranto can be effective if played properly. Tier 4, we have Alberto Di Giassano, another one of these... Uh, Mouthfuls. One of the first ships of the Condottieri class cruisers built in 1931 to counter the large French destroyer rounders during the interwar period. We also see the adoption of the red and white striped aircraft recognition paint on the bows, which continues on all Italian ships of this period. Armed with eight 152mm guns in four twin turrets with a decent reload speed of 9 seconds and blessed with very high speed of over 38 knots, this allows her to work closely with friendly destroyers or hunt down enemy units who will have a really hard time escaping her. All this does come at a cost though, she has rather poor armor protection, so you will be wise not to brawl directly but pour in the supporting fire from range instead. Torpedo armament is a little light with only two dual launchers, but each torp has pretty good damage output at 30,000 uh, damage points, a range of 6.9 kilometers, not bad, and a reload of 36 seconds, while speed of just over 61 knots remains the same as Taranto. At Tier 5, we are halfway through the line with Raimondo Monte... Hmm... Raimondo Monte Succoli. Well, that's a mouthful for sure, and I have no doubt I just butchered that pronunciation. Please forgive me, all the Italians who might be watching. Nevertheless, as a third-generation Condottieri cruiser, she has more balanced characteristics when compared to her predecessor by strengthening her armor protection, costing her just over a knot in speed reduction, but well worth it. Still, I wouldn't recommend brawling directly. Supporting from range is a better option. As with the Tier 4, eight 152mm guns are mounted in four twin turrets, two fore and two aft. Turret traverse is reasonable at 15.6 seconds for a 180 degree turn, as well as the reload of 8.5 seconds, gives her a potential armor piercing DPM of 3712. Torpedo firepower is up despite retaining the two dual launchers. Individual torps have a potential damage each of 3584, the same 36 second reload and 61 knot speed, but range has now increased to a very workable 8.1 kilometers and a 15% chance to cause flooding. Any aircraft specs remain the same as tier 4 with a large caliber range of 3.3 kilometers and 1.5 kilometers for the small caliber weapons. Overall, a decent ship to be sure. With Trento, at tier 6, the Italian cruisers really start coming into their own, I feel. Trento belonged to the first batch of Italian cruisers that were built under the restrictions of the Washington Naval Treaty, and while the treaty was quite restrictive, Trento and her sisters packed 203mm or 8-inch guns. As well, she was faster than her foreign contemporaries and outmatched them in terms of armor. Top speed as I have her configured is 34.18 knots. 
but a 16.07 second time to full speed shows a rate of acceleration that will not suck you back in your seat. Nevertheless, it's still quite workable in game as is the 180 degree turn time of 11.86 seconds. Trench's firepower is quite good with the aforementioned 8 inch guns of which there are 8 mounted in twin turrets and they have a range of 11.74 kilometers. Turret traverse speed is not excellent at 20 seconds for a 180 degree turn though and looking at the torpedo launchers we see a good improvement with the use of two triple tube launchers, first of their kind in the line. Damage output has increased slightly from tier 5 as has the range, but the speed of 61.13 knots remains the same. Reload time of the torpedoes has increased 9 seconds to almost 43 seconds. This ship may have increased armor protection and be better than contemporaries, but again I would not engage in close quarter brawling. This ship's attributes really lend itself to engaging combat from range and is not suited to close quarter action. Close quarter engagement with a capable destroyer captain would prove to be disastrous I think. Any aircraft capabilities? Yeah, they, they've had a decent increase though with damage output is up 50% with range of both large and small caliber weapons also getting a small increase. Trento is also fairly stealthy with only a slight increase in her detection range despite her increased size compared to the tier 5. And now we come to Zara at tier 7. This is my favorite ship of the line but I was disappointed that she doesn't carry the characteristic red and white stripes on the bow as the preceding few ships have. Why is that wargaming? Still, Zara is a capable ship, able to dispense damage competitively among her peers. During the pre-war period, she was considered one of the very best heavy cruisers in the world, mostly due to her armament and speed, along with her good armor protection and overall well-balanced characteristics. Overall, she is slightly less maneuverable than Trento, but this is balanced with her increased fighting capabilities. Main gun reload time is a full second less than Trento, and her firing range is increased. Damage output per shell is the same as is the 22nd turret traverse speed for a 180 degree turn. Torpedo armament is identical to Trento and quite workable in game. Any aircraft damage though, output is identical to Trento but firing range has increased slightly. And now we come to Amalfi at tier 8. There are some significant differences between her and her predecessors, most notably the return to a high speed heavy cruiser with 9 8 inch guns mounted in 3 triple turrets. As well, her maneuverability is slightly increased over that of Zera with a slightly faster 180 degree turn time, but being a larger, heavier ship, her acceleration does suffer slightly. Turret traverse speed is still the okay 20 seconds for 180 degrees and damage per shell is also up slightly. Torpedo armament increases nicely at this tier with Amalfi packing two quadruple torpedo launchers with torpedoes having increased damage yield as well as a faster traverse speed, increased range and slightly increased speed at 62.52 knots. Any aircraft capabilities have changed with large caliber armament damage output dropping significantly to 113 while the small caliber weapons have increased to the same output. Large caliber firing range has also decreased alarmingly, while small caliber AA range has increased almost 27% to 2.4 kilometers. Be a smart player and you will do well with this ship, but run headlong into the battle and you will likely find yourself on the bottom in no time. Tier 9 brings us Brindisi, which is an incremental step over the Amalfi. Significantly, we now have 12 8 inch guns mounted in 4 triple turrets. This ship is capable of delivering some serious damage to her enemies. Reload time is only 1 second more than Amalfi at 12 seconds and the turret rotation is the same 20 seconds. Despite having three more guns there is only a two second increase in gun reload. Impressive. As we have seen all through the line maneuverability takes a bit of a hit as fighting capabilities increase and Brindisi does have a slightly increased turn time and almost a full knot reduction in top speed. Still almost 36 knots is nothing to sneeze at. The torpedo armament very similar to Amalfi, but a slight reduction in torpedo launcher traverse speed and a slight increase in torpedo reload do bring the damage output down slightly below the tier 8. Overall a good ship, skilled captains should do well with her. And finally, we arrive at tier 10, the big cheese of Italian cruisers, Venezia. Again, bigger and heavier does affect her maneuverability compared to Brindisi. It must also be said that the main armament reload times have remained the same despite another three guns being added. The firing range and damage output have both increased slightly as I have the ship equipped. Torpedo reload speed has increased, the time dropping 10 seconds over Brindisi. That, that is a lot. That's an amazing difference. All other torpedo specs appear to be the same. Any aircraft output has increased with large caliber, retaining the same 113 damage output, but firing range has increased, while small caliber AA has increased in damage output to 208, and as well has had a range increase to 2.81 kilometers. Not bad. It may not be enough though to combat the high tier aircraft, we'll see. Well folks, there you have it.
That is my quick overview of the new Italian cruiser line and World of Warships Blitz, available now for you to research in the tech tree. If there are any of these ships that you would like to a more in-depth review on, just drop a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for stopping by, folks. I'll catch you next time.